everything that he's doing, it's for our good. Even you cannot see it in this specific moment, you realize that everything that Hashem is doing, it's for our good. And we need to have appreciation because every, every second that me and Shlomi been through what we've been through, it makes us think and realize that the most important, it's our family. Sometimes we don't have patience for our kids. Sometimes we don't have patience for our partners, for our mom and our dad and our brothers and sisters and even friends. This is not what we need to understand. We need to understand that when you are a good person and when you are become the best version of yourself, you can spread something to this world. You can change the world. You can change the people that surrounding you. You can change your life. You can change your situation. You can change everything. And if you add to this faith in God, an action to show God how you are supporting and appreciate Him, you can change your destiny. You can, you can change your destiny. So when the incident of Hanani happened, the first two weeks I was devastated. I was a ghost. I had the worst thought in my life. I even thought about that I can't continue living anymore. It was horrible. But then, after two weeks, that I sat with myself and I was talking only to Hashem and trying to understand how I can change my situation, how I can help my baby, because by crying and by and by and by be devastated, I can't change nothing. But with talking to God and make some action in my life and change myself and change my faith and realize how God is almighty and how God is enormous. I can change the, dest the, destiny, the destiny of my child. So when I'm sitting, I'm standing in front of the doctor and every day they are telling me the worst things that, I, that, a, par that a parent can hear. And I'm listening and I'm saying, there is no person, there is nobody like God. And I don't listen to you because you are not my God. You can just tell me what do you know after seven, ten years that you were studying? You are the same. You are a human being like me. You're just having more knowledge. But like you know, there is a lot of miracle in this world, and the people that they're not accepting their destination and changing themselves, and have faith, and doing some action to to themselves to to get something different from the diagnosis. From the from the when some for an example somebody have a, a business and the business is not working anymore so good or you have like a partner and they are not getting along but when you change in yourself and you become the best version of yourself you change your destiny so I I, I decided to look at the sky and to say God I love you I accept everything that you are doing for me but I know. I know that you are good. I know that you will never hurt me. I know that everything you are doing for me is for my best. And I will do anything for you to change my baby situation. So I decided to cover my hair, to put skirt, to prayer, to get ener a local energy from, from above and to become the best virgin of myself. And I tell you one thing. After, thank you so much. After, yeah, I want to tell you one thing. All of the things that the doctor told us from the beginning, it was the opposite. Everything that they told us was the opposite. I don't want to say everything that they said because it's not, it's not pleasant to hear that. But I can tell you that my baby is sleeping inside the bed looking beautiful her body functioning very well she's doing great considering her body and everything that they said it was the worst case scenario 
and this is not our reality. Because I choose to change my reality. Shlomi chose to change his reality. And what, what is my message today? Every person here can change his reality by not accepting that, by fighting with us, with us, by believing God, by becoming the best, best person that he can be and to spread love and to talk love and to be good and always, 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 always doing good stuff for every person. And this is the main thing. Don't embrace the, the material, embrace your spirit, embrace your personality. Because when you do that, you feel pure, you feel the happiest person in the world.